Hello and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Thursdays. This week we're going to show you how you can delete many of your context items. For example, you've set up a monitor that generates quite a few so that you don't clutter a platform for your colleagues. In the 2020 R2 version of Trendminer, we made that a lot easier for you and I want to show you today how you can do that yourself. Let's dive in. To delete context items, of course, we're going to start off in Context Hub and I'm going to load the work organizer and load a view that I have pre-configured that have uh, a bunch of context items. It's basically an OEE example where I got quite a few events happening over a period of about a year and a half. Um, so if I go into the table format, it's very easy for me to start deleting from here. I can select individual context items. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I only delete what I created myself. So I'm going to add one filter here, the created by. That's always a good filter to use if you wanna double check uh, that you're not accidentally deleting something that someone else created. And what I have to do here is just search for my username, if motto, that's going to find myself. And once I add that filter, I'm now certain that I'm only looking at context items that I've created myself. By the way, this includes also the context items that were generated by monitors set up by you. So that's, uh, that's going to have created by set to your own username. If I wanted to, I could continue adding filters to make sure that I only delete what I'm sure is uh, deletable. And when I'm ready, all I have to do is hit the little check mark on top. That's going to select all the context items and delete selection. This is going to ask me, are you sure? Do you want to delete all of this? And when I hit yes, it's going to delete those context items. You notice it's going to do this in pages. So I selected about 60 of them. If I wanted to, I could actually this is an infinite zoom. I could continue scrolling down until I know I have selected all of the context items and I'm all the way down to the bottom. When I hit select now, it's going to select 360. So it's kind of a safeguard to make sure you don't ac accidentally delete thousands of context items at once. But this is a way to confirm that I'm actually verifying the, uh, the amount of data that I'm deleting. So if I wanted to continue going through this just in a couple of selections, I can delete all of these context items until I reach the bottom of the list. And now I have nothing left. So you see, uh, I had about five, 600 context items. It took me uh, two or three times, um, or it took me a little effort to s go through all those context items. If you have even more context items, you could con consider using the APIs. So if you wanted to use the APIs, a good resource is developer.trendmind.com where I can find the context API and find the ways to programmatically delete everything. But in context, you have now a convenience method to at least select hundreds, if not thousands of context items easily in a couple of minutes and delete all of them. Be sure to only delete what you should delete, of course, and make sure you have a permission framework set up that avoids um, deleting too much. But that's the topic of the next tutorial Thursday. There you have it, that's all you have to do to clean up the platform so you don't clutter it for your colleagues. Now make sure that the permissions are set correctly so you don't accidentally delete other people's work. But if you want to find out how you do that, make sure to tune in to one of our next Tutorial Thursdays. Thanks and see you next time.